Hey, it's Warren here at Copeland Small Engine Repair. Uh, today I'm working on a John Deere. It's got a big V-twin color on it. Uh, this engine, the model number is CV23S, and the spec number looks like 75569. If I'm looking at that right. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how to get the carburetor off one of these. Uh, when you first look at it, you're thinking, man, this governor control rod, throttle rod right here, and this little thing, everything looks like, man, it's going to be a pain. Uh, first thing you got to do is get this little plate out of the way. Uh, it's got the two bolts, uh, the two nuts on it that hold it on right here, and there's two little bolts that go on the bottom of it. Get those out of the way. Uh, don't remove this. You're going to take the solenoid out of the bottom of the carburetor. Uh, the way I did that, uh, you break it loose with a big crescent wrench. Then I use the crescent wrench to pull this little bar forward a little bit. Uh, you got to get the fuel line out of the way because the fuel line usually hooks right up underneath the solenoid. The fuel line on this thing is rotted, so I just cut it out of the way. Uh, once you get the, the breather plate off and the solenoid out, uh, you're going to have to unplug the solenoid wire and let it hang straight down down here so while you're turning it out, it doesn't wind it up or break it. So unplug your solenoid wire, let it hang straight down. Uh, then you're going to, uh, luckily this thing has little plastic clips like this one right here. And there's another one that goes in this little piece right here. Uh, it's laying right here somewhere. Uh, but take the little plastic clip that holds this rod into there, unclip it, and pull this out. Uh, you're going to take the two screws to hold this big cable assembly up here down. Take the two screws out of it so you can move it out, out of the way. You're mainly doing it so you can move it over to move this rod out of the way because the carburetor needs to slide forward and this little aluminum piece sticking out right here is behind this rod. So you're going to do that so you can slide the carburetor off. Slide a Phillips head screwdriver down behind here to take the ground wire loose. Uh, and like I said, there's a little plastic clip right there that holds this throttle linkage. And you're going to unclip it, pull it out, get some needle nose and undo the spring. Uh, and then, like I said, push this out of the way and the carburetor will slide straight off. Uh, but it looks kind of daunting when you first look at it. But get two little clips on the rods out of the way. Uh, take this little bracket loose so you can push it over to the side and get this big gold rod out of the way. Take the ground wire off. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to unplug your solenoid before you unscrew it from the bottom of the carburetor so you don't tear the wire up. And you can take your carburetor straight off. And boy, this one needed to come off because it's been on here and hadn't run in two years and it's, it's a mess. And there it is. But anyway, I hope that helps some people out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.